Hi there, welcome back. Luckily for you guys, this video is going to be quite short compared to some of my other efforts in this video series because the filter we're going to be taking a look at today already comes pretty well laid out. There's not really much to do to it. Now that is on today's menu, the Aqua L Turbo Filter 2000. Now these filters come in four sizes, so we've got a 500, a 1000, a 1500, and that one, which is the biggest one, which is a 2000, and that relates to how many litres per hour the pump will shift. And just for you guys in the US, 2000 litres an hour is approximately 530 US gallons per hour. Now although you've got to put this thing together yourself, that's the intended setup from the manufacturer. So on the end of here, we've got a big coarse lump of foam so the water is drawn in through the foam water then goes into a media container up into the pump back out to the tank on the top of here we've got a little control tap and that controls the flow going out that directs the flow here we've got a venturi which leads outside the tank and you can adjust how much air is drawn in to be mixed with the water. Obviously, if you didn't want any air to be drawn in, just take that off. On the back, we've got some mega strong suction cups. I mean, they're probably the best ones I've ever seen on an internal filter, but we also have a safety feature, which is this thing here, which allows it to be hooked over the side of the tank just to prevent it from ever sliding down. It's probably the first time I've seen that feature on an internal filter and I like that. I mean it will hold it just by itself and that's full of media. Before I bring the camera in and give you a close-up I'll just give you a few more facts and figures which come directly from Aqua L. So they say it is for tanks between 350 to 500 litres which is approximately 90 to 130 US gallons. The maximum head, which is how far this pump would pump up to, if you took an outlet pipe from here and took it up to say an overhead filter or something. So the distance from here to the highest point it'll pump is 190 centimeters or 74 inches. And although the pump shifts 2000 liters an hour or 530 US gallons per hour, it only consumes 22 watts of power. Now you can buy more of these containers from Aqua L, so you could extend that really as far as you wanted to to get more media or foams or whatever it is you wanted to put in there within the confines of the height of your tank. Obviously you cannot just keep going and going and going. Now you can buy more of these containers from Aqua L if you wanted to increase the filtering capacity of this filter and but bear in mind it also will increase the height. Each one of these containers is approximately uh, roughly four inches or just over 10 centimeters yeah so every time you add a new container you add another four inches on the filter is already almost 16 inches from top to bottom which is around 40 centimeters so that's pretty tall so really what I'm trying to say is if your tank is only 18 inches deep that's pretty much as big as you can go or you could swap the foam out for another one of those media containers and run it with two media containers if you wanted you didn't have to have the foam on you know that just comes off stick another media container on with a uh, like, like a grill on the bottom which it comes with and then it'll look a little bit neater but you wouldn't get such a big filtering capacity from the foam so that's it there close up in all its glory i'll show you what comes in here now what's currently in there it's approximately 300 grams or about what will that be about quarter of a pound just over a quarter of a pound of ceramic rings and they're not bad those actually they're quite soft which means that they're probably quite porous and really as far as upgrading that filter media goes because you've got quite a big space in there purely for media 
it allows you to fit up to 600 grams of bio gravel in there. like so so you've got something that's more porous and there's twice as much of it because of 600 grams which is about a pound and a bit I'm not quite sure exactly what it is and that's just inside the cap that goes on the top it's a similar sort of setup on the bottom as well in that you know a similar thing goes on the bottom and you've got the mesh to stop anything falling out there you go so twice the weight of media obviously better media that's really as much as you can do to pimp up this filter of course you can add more of these containers as long as the height in your tank allows for it now obviously this is marketed for being for tanks between 350 to 500 liters or 90 to 130 us gallons it would keep a tank that size clean and reasonably healthy as far as the ammonia and nitrite goes wouldn't stand a chance of holding enough media unless you had a hugely tall tank and you were drawn through a dozen or more of these or something <laughs> filled with proper media you know so yeah I, I mean what would I recommend it for I would say sensibly somewhere between 100 to 150 litre tank which is about 26 to 34 US gallons maybe or thereabouts if you wanted the water clean and very healthy if you go bigger than that as I say it might keep it clean but it's not necessarily going to keep it healthy even if you added another one of these you know and a tank much bigger than that recommendation it would probably still keep it clear but not necessarily as healthy so everything has to be in proportion i mean if you've got a 350 to 500 liter tank at the very least it's got to have one possibly even two canister filters or if you've got the space and the funds to build it a sump underneath to hold enough media to to be able to stock a lot of fish in that tank a lightly stocked tank with plenty of plants yeah i mean this is going to keep it clean and perfectly healthy you know to a tank of a decent size so aqua l sent me this admittedly ages ago i forgot about it it was in a box apologies to aqua l i will be giving this particular filter away with that media and possibly other bits and bobs in a video in the near future so if you want a chance to win it just keep watching the videos stay subscribed if you think this video has been useful hit the thumbs up please put your experiences of using such a filter in the comment section and that will really help other people i know there's a lot of people in the uk in particular do use this filter so please share your experiences down there that's what the comment section's for thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video